Hey, Josh, I got this part I was talking to you about a couple weeks ago. I finally got it off the parts car. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you got this out for me because this is uh, something, well, a lot of people don't know what it's called. I call it a, a fine line strip. It has fine lines in it. <laughs> that's, okay. that's why I think they call it a fine line strip. But so many of them over the years, it was much easier just to put a screw in the outside to keep them oh, on the, the car. Oh, the have broken off? Totally, yeah. They totally destroyed it. I don't know anybody that can repair a fine line strip. So this is a, a, a part that we have for sale, but we don't have them that are plated. So uh, this one I happened to pick up. And it's uh, plated and ready to go onto our restored uh, stainless steel piece. But I have a feeling there's probably something wrong well, here. Well, yes, yes. And that's where I need your expertise. Okay. And that's where I'm going to exit stage left, I think <laughs> is that one, and have you show and everybody what, what we need to well, do. Well, what to do you fix want this. me to do to fix this? Well, I, there's a few little I'm problems assuming on the back side. Yeah. So, oh, oh, more than, yeah. Yeah. All the mounting hardware has come off. So, Josh, I need if you could please get it on there for me okay. so that I, it we looks could... like it was probably epoxied maybe somebody tried to spot weld it yeah yeah so so if you've got a solution i guess can we'll you try, show everybody well we'll try your solution from the from the hood v and um, okay and and use some um metal based epoxy all and right. that should hold it we'll, we'll give it a try all right i appreciate it i'm gonna i'm gonna go do some sorting of parts while you're doing this okay sounds good john see ya Well, we got to get onto this piece here that John got in a 59 parts inventory. Now we're starting to um, get back to work on our 59 Brits now, especially getting details like this ready. Uh, we're going to get the instrument panel done. We got lots of little things so that as the car moves along, we have a whole shelf full of restored parts that are ready to bolt onto the car as they're needed. So we're not waiting for them later. So what we're going to have to do with this is this is a reproduction part, and these mounting studs have all come off. Um, they look like they were just epoxied on. There's a lot of epoxy caked up on the, on the studs. Cleaned all that off. What I'm going to do is we're going to take and get in here and grind out to under the plating because the epoxy doesn't really stick to plating well. Probably see the uh, little, where you can see the brass in the center where they did grind a small amount. So we'll bring you in close. You can watch what we do. Uh, clean these up, prep them for epoxy, um, stick these studs back in place, and make this part serviceable. So you can see in here where they did grind away a little bit to try to get the get those studs to stick in there. Probably would have been better if they ground it away and spot welded these in place. But this is what we have to work with. So I'm gonna get in here with this burr and clean up in here. I'll show, show doing a couple of them. There's eight to do all together. It's kind of hard to get them all on camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and you'll see me do a few, then I'll bring you back when they're all done. see just on these few that I've done we've roughed it up we've gotten the chrome plating off we can see that we got more brass showing give the epoxy a better tooth so I'm gonna go ahead and do these others and we'll bring you back here in a couple minutes when I get them done Okay, so the next step here is got some uh, carburetor cleaner here and I'm gonna give each one of these a little squirt wipe it out give another squirt let it evaporate clean all the heads of these studs off get all this degreased and prepared so we'll start with these guys Once 
you get these parts degreased, you don't want to be touching the part that you're going to epoxy. Give them one last little spritz. And let that evaporate. So it rinses away any little last bits and let that dry then we'll mix up the epoxy and get this thing put together so we've cleaned everything degreased everything's dried off now what we're going to do is mix up some uh, two-part epoxy um, this is the kind that has some they claim has metal in it it's a dark gray when it's mixed up it seems to work good for this type of thing so i'm going to mix up some epoxy i'm going to dip the studs in it you get, get you get a good amount on the head and get in here and kind of squeeze it around, get it, get it pushed into the pores of the metal and in that area that we roughed up and put those studs back in place and it's gonna have to sit for 24 hours. So we will begin the mixing process. real good this is not fast setting so we can take our time and not rush I find that the slower setting epoxy seems to be stronger than the, than the quick setting type I don't know if that's truly true but that's kind of been my experience okay so we're gonna take the stud get some on the side of the head like that get some on my fingers in there and I mean that's kind of hard to show on video is that these do kind of move around in there but you can firmly feel when they're planted squarely got just about the right amount so that it squishes out without making too much of a mess We'll get you some close-ups here in a minute. And see the epoxy's kind of worked its way over the top of the head of the, the stud. Now this this here, these studs just hold this uh, this trim piece to this stainless steel piece. If we look on the back of this. You can see that they just go through into this and then this the stainless steel is mounted with these clips so it's not like that this is going through into the body of the car and it's holding this whole piece of molding on it's just holding the um this trim onto this uh, stainless steel Okay, so that is all done. This is one more part. We can get on the shelf, have it ready for our 59. So as we continue to start to begin again to move forward on that project, um, we have parts on the shelf, set up, ready to go. So that when we need them, we have them. We're not gonna be waiting for things to come back from a plating shop or whatever. We're gonna have all the sub assemblies for the car ready to go. So as we need them, we pull them down and we put them in the car. So, uh, kind of a quick and dirty way of uh, fixing something like this up. Makes, it makes the part serviceable. So, hope this helps you out if you have a similar situation. Same method works for, you know, if you have um, um, emblems and things that have come off, you can, you can make this type of repair. Important just to clean everything up good and make sure that the epoxy gets a, a good bite. So. There you go.
Wine Village is a great organization that gives back to the community. Check it out. You'll see so as well. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Sonnen Kirsten. We're here at the 2018 Vine Village Celebration, our major fundraiser here that helps fund programs that we run for people with developmental disabilities here in the greater Napa community. Vine Village was founded by my family and another family, each who had children with disabilities in 1972. And we depend on donations from all sorts of foundations and individuals and businesses throughout our community to help fund these programs and this is our biggest fundraiser of the year. You can donate by clicking the link in the video description.